How do you know when your work is a success? To me, it's not about success. It's about continuation. What's next? Where do you begin? I make coffee every morning, and we all gather. And on occasion, I make biscotti or cookies. They do three, but then at the end, they have four. And I, they're, think, I, they're think they're we, I actually think we caught one line. So we just sit together in the morning, and we talk about, talk about the rehearsal schedule, what's planned for the day, if we think we're going to accomplish our goals. I'm not an office person. As little as possible. It's good for me. When we're doing a new work, like now Firebird, it's more complicated because I can't always predict how far Eve is going to go, like if he's going to finish. Let's say he wants to choreograph for two minutes, and that's his goal. Sometimes he will do two or two and a half, and some days he says, oh, I only did 30 seconds. 50 more seconds today. Uh, I'm going to make it, because if I don't, I'm not on schedule. That's how it is. And this was an easy day today. So. Most of us have come to Valley, Arizona because of Eve. Eve Anderson, he really made his mark with New York City Ballet, and he worked directly under Balanchine. George Balanchine. Legendary Russian choreographer George Balanchine. George Balanchine, perhaps the most extraordinary creative figure in the world of dance today. It's really cool to see how he reinvented ballet and how Eve now is reinventing ballet in his own style, too. I actually was watching this video when I was very little on the school, and I didn't realize just when I came here that it was Eve. He was a star, he's still a star. He made a history, and it's amazing working with him. Wait, 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 and get away, get away. No, no, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> And she flies to three, four, six, three, two, three, four, five. I am very lucky because I do have um, a lot of time with Eve, walking with him. When Eb is about to choreograph, he's walking around. He start marking inside of his head what he wanted, the way that he wanted. We are like shadows. We're behind him and just paying so much attention. If you do, can you do like a fuite, arabesque, not not high, whatever. <laughs> he just push you to be the best that you can be can be for hours and hours on the studio doing a lot of steps that maybe it doesn't make sense for you but it makes sense for him. You can see him uh, walking around and thinking about the choreography. You know, the original classic fairy tale is that the firebird is a bird. And he said, no, you're not a bird, you're an alien. So from the beginning, Eve had a concept that he wanted it to, to take place in this kind of otherworldly, science fiction feeling place, probably in the future, probably not Earth. The idea that the firebird is an alien being, that's new. One of the first things that he told me was to uh, watch Mad Max. Mad Max, Blade Runner, and Avatar was another. 2001, which I think is one of the greatest movies ever. <laughs> it 
I was a little surprised and I thought, oh, okay, okay, he's not thinking, you know, mythological Russia here. But I guess, you know, I watch too many movies. Maybe that's what it is. The audience comes in and they see the end result. They don't realize the hours, days, weeks, months, sometimes years of work that goes into making it happen. It's a huge production in the sense that we have a ton of people in the cast. Hi, my name is Jackson Guar. My name is Mary. My day to day business as a stage manager in the office is just making sure that rehearsal is set every day for what they need music, rehearsal videos, props, scenery, costume pieces. I basically do a daily schedule. I make sure we have enough time to rehearse every piece. And then Laura helps me with the schedule for the costume fittings. Working with Fabio to make sure that the costume shop is staying on schedule. They're really not your classic, typical ballet costume. We have a lot of lines that they're not designed really for dancing, so we have to make them work. To me, he looks squashed. Half an inch. Now it looks better. Light is one of those things that a lot of people don't really think about. It's kind of like air. You know, you don't really think about it until it's not there. And go right into it, right into turning. But look, 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 look. You really need to sort of connect with that person's psyche. Because if you want something specific, you need to get into who they are. Can we go from uh, his entrance once? Well, the first thing that has to be 100% is that they have to have complete freedom of movement. This is all on neoprene, so there's, it's very flexible. It's meant to look hard, but it all has to be very light. I'm locking myself into the most complicated puzzle. I'm basically wrapping this body with what should look like slabs of metal. How do I look? <laughs> Pop, and, and, and go, you're, you're being hidden. Go, go to your, this way. That's it, right there. Yes, 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 yes. That's good. Head high. I then draw up what's called a light plot, which is a scale drawing of the space, and it shows exactly where all of the fixtures are going to be. To work with people that have all these interesting perspectives and ideas that makes an idea that I have even better. We care about the product that we put out there, and we uh, feel pretty good about it and hope that the audience does too, you know, so. When you are so passionate about something, you have to put your entire soul into it, your entire being, all of you. I can't imagine myself doing something else. When it really comes down to it, I don't have a choice. As soon as I go to the stage, first thing I think is, this is mine, this is my space. You have to give everything you got. like the challenge, being the best they can be every day, proving yourself. Because for us, it's kind of hard because we will never feel the best. We will never feel that we achieved the best. That's why we keep doing. Ballet is who I am. It's what I love. No matter what painful thing life throws at me, it's, it's so worth it. But when you put everything together, when you put that costume on, it makes you feel beautiful. When I'm on stage, I completely forget how much my body hurts. I put on the costume, I put on the makeup, I'm that character, and everything else just fades away. It's like something takes over. You forget about everything, everything. <laughs> 